Hi guys, and welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our campaign as the Spartans in Rome Total Realism, Imperium Serectum, and it is going to be fun. You know, every time I come away from this game, I just want to dive right back in. As soon as I go away to record another video for another game like CK3 or, you know, Divide and Conquer, I really, really just want to get back to this game. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but honestly, it is very fun right now for me. Very fun indeed. Now, last time we took the Boeotians out, the Boeotians, please someone tell me how to pronounce this name, but it doesn't matter too much because they're going to be dead pretty soon, <laughs> which is great. I've got a little bit more confidence with the battles now, knowing that we can take out a full stack with a full stack of our own even though we lack cavalry quite heavily. So we can be a bit more aggressive, I would say. We're making a lot of money, an obscene amount of money, really, uh, for this mod. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> let's keep going. And let us end the turn there, guys. Let us end the turn and see where it takes us. We're on the way to talk to Pergamon. And, uh, yeah, we're going to take out the Boeotians. And then I think we're going to go after the Aetolian League. Um, I believe that is the Thermon people, right? The Aetolian League. Uh, they do have a couple of big armies, but a lot less than Epirus. Oh, that's the Boy Ocean League. Boy Ocean League, right? Boy Ocean. I, I believe, I, I hope, I keep calling them the Boeotian League. But no, the Boy Ocean. Arius has died! Oh, no! No, that is not what we needed. He was an animal of a character. Arius! No! Eudemidas has died as well. Oh my god, double death in one turn, guys. Oh my days. That was not what we were expecting. Well, at least uh, Cleonimos is over here. Cleonimos. Uh, he, what's, he's the faction leader. You've got to be kidding me. Let's uh, have a look at our family tree. We've had the Eudemidas... Has died. Aegis died in battle. Um, so I would like I would like you to be the faction heir, if possible. So here we are. Akratotos the handsome is over here. Arechtheos, he is the one leading the battles, right? And then Mausolos of Crete. I don't know where you are, uh, but we are kind of thin when it comes to when it comes to our family tree right now. Jesus, disaster in the family. Both faction leaders die at the same time. So, clear name, Os, you're 16 and you're pretty decent. You can't actually move. Um, Akratetos, you're 38. You're okay. Um, and then you, Erechtheos, you're four, four star general. Pretty decent, but not as good as Orkomenos. I would like Orkomenos to become the faction heir, but it doesn't look like we can do that right now. Orkomenos? No. Uh, family tree. It's only these guys. Um, why is it only these guys? Is it because of uh, them being Perioikos? Whoa! Plus five trade. Nice. Uh, I'm wondering, is it because of what dynasty they're from? Like, is it because he is adopted? Yeah, he's not got... There's a Perioikos. Dwellers roundabout were neighboring people. So that's probably why he can't be made faction leader. But it doesn't matter. Whatever faction leader we have, they all have pretty decent stats. And we've got another candidate for adoption. He's 25. I would like a younger one. But at this point, we really just have to accept whoever we can. And where shall you go? You could go to Megalopolis, which is a minor city, or Aegeon. Athens already has someone. Corinth is a large city, so I think that's the best option for you. Let's get you in Corinth. Uh, Sparta. Where was that that we had a load of, load of troops? Over here. Then Chalcis, Rhodes, Gortina. Yes, okay. Eric Thonios. Nice, decent name. So they've just got a load more troops in that army, I swear. Right, let us, we'll get all these. It's a pretty damaged army because it's the remnants of what we were fighting before. 
so yeah, we'll destroy then and then we'll move on to the Aetolian League. Hopefully destroying this army in the process. First things first though, we need to go and retrain all these boys. A nice bit of experience they've got now, some of them, which is decent for us. Uh, new faction leader is Cleonimos. He needs 16, bro. He's 16. How did you become the faction leader? <laughs> oh, well. Argos has got mines. We are making tons of money now. So I would like to make a new army. But first things first, we need to get some better barracks. So Corinth, you're a large city. So once Corinth and Athens have finished their irrigation, we'll get them building... Uh, some military buildings because we need large cities with good military buildings to get better troops right over here let's go for the markets and then roads let us go for large temple of Zeus I think so that's probably the best option let's go for that and then Chalkis oh, it doesn't really matter get whatever you can Fine. Chalkis is only a large town. We are in a very rich area. I do want to start making a new army, but I'm hoping we can get better troops than what we have. Let's have a look at this. This is level 4, so this is actually large city level right now. So we could get the Spartan Hominoi. 20 morale, 15 attack, 46 defense. Now, they need to form the backbone of our next army. That is who we want to recruit mainly. Uh, we only get that one cavalry unit. Good lord. Is there um, a level above where we are? Yeah, let's have a look at the huge city. Oh, we can get the Spartan general. So that is just recruiting a general. So the Hominoi are the best we can get. Oh my god. So the Spartan cavalry are actually the best cavalry we can get. I want some of these Litho Bolo, Bolo though. They look pretty awesome. Is there any other buildings that provide... Units for us to train. I don't think so. Hyparchia. Administration level 4. No, that's just the same. And then these temples. I don't believe any of them provide us with troops. Hmm. Oh, well. That is fine. So we want to make Homoi. 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 The backbone of the army. That is 100% what we want to do. And I think let's uh, end the turn. Yeah, we definitely want the homoyoi. I can't say it. I cannot say it. Is it the homoyoi or the homoyoi? I, I can't remember either. We want them to be the backbone of our army. And we're going to have to rely heavily on, on cavalry then from mercenary cavalry. Because we literally have no cavalry options, bro. Like, literally I just Spartan cavalry. Ha! Huh. Ceasefire. No. Until no. Okay, you're going to attack us. That's decent. Captain Memnon. That is a pretty damaged army, if I don't say so myself. And then this one. Ah, phalangites are so hard to deal with. It's interesting that we don't actually get any phalangites ourselves as Sparta. Uh, but this is a de half-decent army. We are very damaged, but I'm sure we can still do a good job on them. It's very equal, actually. 8.42 versus 6.15. Probably slightly better army they, they have than us, but we'll deal with it. We will destroy them. They've attacked us as well, so we can defend like we did last time and then strike them in the flanks. Uh, but yeah, I really want that Spartan homoyoi. Homoyoi? 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 Yeah. Well, I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Our foes are gathering. Here we are. They do, they do. Very true. And now we only have one general, which is something we've got to remember. Oh, look at this map. We could completely, we could completely screw these guys by getting on top of this hill. Look at this hill. I think their army will be coming in from the left as well. <laughs> it's just so hard to see in the trees, though. It's, it's really, really annoying to be in the trees. General on this side. Mausolos. We've got to remember that name because I always forget it. Got a very weak left flank. 
Then archers. So we're going to have to rely heavily on cavalry from uh, the other nations. Look at this hill! Ha ha! Fools! You thought you could take us! But look at where we will stand! This is the Battle of Austerlitz, but hopefully the ones on the hill this time actually win. <laughs> General there. It's going to be hard to see, as I've said. Should have very good range with our javelin men and our healer archers. Because of the huge advantage in height. Now I can't see them. That's great. That's great. Okay, that's their range now, but I wonder when they can shoot. Oh my god, they can already shoot! Look how far the extra they can shoot! Jesus! Shoot the phalangites. Because they're very strong. Oh, no, no, no! They came in from this side! What's that? What the hell is that about, bro? At least we have strong units on this side. Let's go. When you get there, our cavalry's just going to die. Like, there's just nothing we can do about that. I did not see them. They came out of nowhere, bro. Okay. You guys get around the back if you can. Should be able to deal with that Aspido Foroi quite handily. Right. Do a rally already, bro. They ambushed us. Wow. Pretty decent of them. Kill that Theroperoi. Decent move by the AI there. Wow. Fire those Javis, boys. Don't want to deal with those Phalangites. Head on. Might get this Gritai in there. General on Mercenary Tarantine Cavalry. Okay, this is a nice little uh, surround we've got going on here. You guys, surely you need to beat that Thoroperoi. Who are you? More Mercenary Hoplites. Maybe we should have got some Mercenaries in here. Kill those Peltasts. Really hard to see. You guys, I'm willing to sacrifice you against the Phalangites just to hold them for a second. Hmm. You guys chase them down. That's fine. Right, what else is going on? Right, you guys, nearly all of you have fired all your ammo. Oh, we've got a mass route going on over here. Apart from these boys. These boys have gone. Kill them. Kill them quick. Right, you guys round, let's go. This is so tight right now, this is so tight. And I can't see anything. Maybe I should have gone down at the bottom. And we wouldn't have got ambushed then either. Right, these hoplites are going to be hard to deal with. You guys get up there and surround them. Doing a decent job against that general. Well done, boys. Right, you go kill that Theroperoi. I can't see! You kill them. How are we doing over here? God, this is the Battle of the Blind! So that's one general dying. Uh, general, we need to get you out of there. I don't want you to deal with the Phalangites at all. How are we doing down here? Should be able to kill those Cretan archers, surely. General, we might need you up here, honestly. Would be the best solution. Kill that Theroperoi, actually. You, you. We've not even used you again. You are the reserve. The eternal reserve. <laughs> guys, get there. How's it going over here? Kill that general if you can, boys. Oh, it's a bit of a surround going on here. So, you guys need to get in there. Oh, no. Don't turn, turn, turn. Kill them all. 
Right, if you could uh, maybe come here, actually. They keep turning their, uh, their, their f themselves. Okay, that, that unit's dead. General, where are you? Okay, deal, dealt with them. General, we need you over this side. Where is their general gone? He keeps charging. Hopefully we can kill him. He just... Yes, fantastic. That's their king. Doesn't matter now about that unit. It's just gone. Now the phalangites are going to be a very major problem. Oh, hello, you guys. You're killing the piss, Eloy. Okay, Cretan archers over there. This is just chaos. <laughs> oh, good lord. Healer archers. Who do you want you to fire at, really? Ideally, the Tarantine Cavalry. Okay, this is better now. We've got the generals striking them in the back. They're wavering. What are you? Pissy Loy. We should beat the Pissy Loy. Come on. Uh, zoom in on the map because I cannot see anything that's going on. And even, I'm pressing spacebar, guys. As you can see, does not remove the trees. I have to be in the trees to see what's going on. Right. Uh, you guys did a decent job last time of flanking the phalangites. So we'll get you around this way. Go flank the phalangites. Who are you? There's only five of you. That Podromoy needs to die. Yeah, shoot that Tarantine cavalry. Actually, just hide. I, I, I don't want you to die. Yes, the phalangites are dead. Okay, we need to kill 15 more percent and then we'll be good. You can go after the Tarantine Cavalry now. You go after Cretan Archers actually because you're fast. Uh, how's it looking over here? Okay, we've beaten them back. Yeah, get rid of them. We've still got a lot of cav. Don't think uh, you guys are going to be able to catch those pissy loy. Everyone's a bit happy. Maybe no way you can go. Uh, honestly, you need to fight cavalry. You're our last remaining hope against the cavalry. Oh, well, this is... This was just chaos, wasn't it? It was just chaos. Just pure and utter chaos. I was not... Exp I, I could have sworn they would come in on the left-hand side. Okay, that's going to be tough fighting them for you. Is there any units up here that we don't need? Well, you guys, you're going after them, though. You guys, we'll get you down here. Uh, actually, no, we should probably get you chasing chasing enemy away, but there isn't really an enemy to chase away right now. Kill that Podrum boy. They're broken. Of course he flees. He is a fool. They're in full flight. Oh, yes. They're catching up a little bit. Come on, boys. Let's go. You guys go after the pissy light. Who's over here? I don't see them. Ah. Uh, how many is that, then? It says 13, but it's going to be actually close because some of the troops have routed already. How are we not won? Like, who is this over here? Okay, these guys are still here. Do I have a unit to protect these archers? <laughs> no. I do not. <laughs> well, you, whoever's here... Is it just you guys? Right, you two. And you guys. Come and protect my archers. Where are my archers? Oh, just continue. Yeah. And then there's these boys. Who are you? I can't see them. It's just you. A lot of the units are actually not showing up on the map, I don't think. But, oh well. Okay, they managed to escape. Yes, glorious victory, boys. We are definitely going to need a bit of retraining now. Units, 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 
Get across there. No, you're not going to catch him, are you? Oh, well. Glorious victory. Fantastic. We didn't actually lose many troops there. 82 for them. Nice. Any experience great? Well, we lost three, four units. Ah, that's not great, is it? Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Not much healing from this guy either. Well, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Ah, no! I was just thinking that. I was thinking if they didn't have another family member, they would become a rebel. Oh, how annoying. Well, at least they're dead. And I think we need to escape back to Sparta as quickly as we can. It's not the best of armies, but can we take another battle like that? There's no mercenaries available. Are you sure? How about over here? Yep. I'm leaving the siege. Yeah, there is mercenaries available here. Let's go for it. Thessalian Lancers. I'm willing to spend a lot of money because we don't have any money. Uh, we, we, sorry, we've got a lot of money. That was like, like 18,000 for these boys. Well, now we've got these guys. I think we can afford... To take Orchomenos now. Nice. They have archers, so they will put them on the walls. Ooh, we got a lot of uh, a lot of things. Mausolos destroyed them. We destroyed the Boeotians, but they decided to come back. Ah, someone tried to buy us out. We're only making seven here. Come on, bro. Less than ten for horses. This must be a trash gold mine, bro. It'd be better than just putting me in, in a settlement, wouldn't it? Less than 10. Olbia, less than 10. Oh, God. Right, Alkamenos. Alkamenos. Fantastic. Wow, he's decent as well. Pawn of the Gods. Social drinker. Understanding of logistics. Trusty. I think we'll use him uh, next. Oh, we still can't move you. You're only 17 as well. Oh, we can't move either of these guys. That's annoying. Rhodes has expanded. So Rhodes will become a large city. Fantastic. Uh, Alkamenos. Yeah. Confident commander. Very nice indeed. Right. Let's have a look at what we built just in Megalopolis this turn. Uh, Megalopolis is only a minor city still. Let's go for the market because it makes us money and population growth. I mean, it's it's a win-win really, isn't it? Oh, that is incredibly annoying. Incredibly annoying. I should have tried not to kill their king. But I couldn't see him routing really. Let's have a look at what the Aetolians have over here. Aspidophoroi again. Throporoi. Ah, well. Ah, well. Um, I mean, to rebuild this army, we need... We've got archers. I would like four archers in every army. Let's get a couple of archers, and then we'll start getting some hoplitai. When that's done as well, that's going to be very helpful to us. So, that's good. Retrain these boys. Um, and I think that's it. Let's end the turn again, boys. Ah, I should have gone and spoke to these guys. See what they've got going on. They're probably at war with Egypt. That's the only scary thing. If we ally them, we might end up at war with Egypt. Um, which is something that we really don't want to be doing right now. <laughs> I don't think we can. We can't for fight a two-front war at all. I like how the Antigonids are just blocking off that rebel. <laughs> like, for no reason. Oh, hello, uh, Aetolians. You like transgressing against us, do you? I was going to say, we're not at war. Faction announcements. Spice merchant. Ooh, nice. You are becoming a great manager, my friend. And you're a decent command commander as well. Look at that trade in Athens. Wow. Mm. I'm thinking whether we should have enslaved some of these settlements now. We should have just tried to get them to grow to a huge city. Go for the baths over here. Keep that population growth coming. Athens, fantastic. You are done. Right, let us Let's get the military annexation. That's four turns. Quite a while. 
Hello, uh, yeah, Kingdom of Pergamon. That's what we want to deal with. Trade rights, do you want that? Most generous proposal. An alliance? How is that very demanding, bro? We see no benefit to Why does no one want an alliance with us? They're, they are allied with Egypt and the Getai. Enemies, Seleucid, Galatians. Okay, I guess we don't have any... Any, um... Any, uh... Enemies that are the same. I was trying to think of the word then. I had a complete mind blank. Good lord. Right then. Do we go for it? I think we do. I think we have to. They've got Greek hoplites. None of them really have that much arm. They don't have any experience or armor upgrades. So let us go for it. And Mausolos is becoming quite a beast of a commander. But I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. Yes, sound the horns for the boys. So we will actually use this mercenary hoplites if we can. If they have men on the walls, we will use them. Um, and then the rest of you boys can drop those boys. This is our really damaged contingent, apart from you. You three will be the main assault party. And we'll try to use the phalangists to the best of our ability. These Thethalian Lancers are pretty decent. 47 charge. Nice bit of armor. Very good melee attack. And very good morale. So, we're going to be very happy with them. But this is not the time to use them in a city. Look at them. Woo! Glorious. Fantastic. And here are our mercenary phalangists. Says Macedon on him. Oh, God. No, not Macedon. Sparta. And here's our... Where's our mercenary Greek hoplites over here? So these guys are only going to go up if they do have people on the walls. Ooh, they're looking spicy. Right. You there. You can try for here. Why is there only two ladders? Good lord. Three. Oh, it's because it was such small units. How annoying. Well, you guys can come over here, and then the archers, get you guys to try and come here, and you boys, go over here. Alright, let's see where they have their troops. Okay, they do have troops on the walls. What troops though? Pissy Loy. Oh well, not bothered about Pissy Loy are we boys? Let's let them expend all their ammunition on this unit. This poor unit that's going to be used <laughs> as bait. And then we'll get our proper boys up on the walls. Alright, that's everyone moving, isn't it? Apart from the proper boys. They're still scared of him. Oh, God. We're taking a lot of damage from those towers. Oh, you guys have gone, aren't you? Go, 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 go. Our soldiers have reached the walls with bloodies. Soon be over the nice. You guys get there. We're going to shoot at those pissy loys. First things first, so let's open the gates. If we can take the towers, we can actually get these guys up on the walls without having to use the ladders. Right, archers, come through. You guys through. What's the best way into the city? Standard through this way. Or through this way. You more pissy loy. That's annoying that that didn't take. We could have taken this one and sandwiched these boys. They actually managed to get javelins over that wall. Looks like it. Oh, that's actually some decent shots, bro. Shoot them. Come on, archers. Hurry up. You're too slow. All right, you guys put that down. Let's get over here. I'd like you to be able to shoot at the pissy light. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, we captured those walls. Right, Spartan boys over here. Now that we've captured the walls. Now we should be shooting them. 
rather than them shooting us. What are you? There's three of you stuck here. That's interesting. Right, you guys can shoot, of course, whatever you want to do. Okay. That is their tower still. The free peoples. You will not be free after I am done with you, you fools. They're shaken. Good lord, already. Nope, fire. Archers, fire at whatever you want. You guys get up here. Once you guys are done there, you can start firing. Yeah, they're getting fired upon. Fantastic. That's what I like to see. Yes, throw your javies, boys. Throw your javies. Oh, that's some damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Keep going, boys. That's what we like to see. They're not getting any volleys off. Oh, fantastic. Once you've done this, charge them. I think we lose in the... Although we do have good experience. One more round. One more. Go! Now charge! Stop their firing. Come on, boys. Yes, that's what we like to see. Bring that cavalry in. I love it. This pissy load is already broken. Some Greek archers. I don't like them. Right, where's my general? You come here. Right, boys. Outside the walls. Let us go. Rally. I think we're going to win this. Where have those troops gone? They're in the tower. They're all in the tower. Uh, I would like to be able to shoot that Aspido 4 Roy. Phalanges, yeah. Get off your phalanx mode and then you can run. I would actually maybe like you guys to come in as well. Just to see how good you are. <laughs> you guys get here, you'd potentially be able to fire from up here. Yeah, get there. And we use the hoplites as well, of course. Uh, archers, you go here. You should be, get a good angle from there. Yes, look at the cavalry coming. Here come the boys. Right, Phalanges, we're going to use you first and foremost. Looks like we don't even need these mercenary hoplites up here. So, let's get them down. Ideally, honestly, here. Oh, no, you're going to go out this way, are you? Well, go here then. Right, the rest of you boys, bring you in. Just get rid of those boys. Yeah, kill them. It should have been being shot as well. Is this their general? No, I was going to say, it looks a bit like their general. Okay, no, no, no. Go, 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 go. Get in phalanx. Go. This phalanx. Get in phalanx, boys. Phalanx. Alright, perioikoi hiplite. Guys, phalanx. This is not phalanx. Okay? This is really not phalanx. Oh, they broke already. Well, that's embarrassing for them, isn't it? Get there, get in the way. Get in the way, just get in the way. Kill them. Right, okay. One phalangist, the general, and you are all going to go this way. You can get off phalangist now. You and you can come this way. And the cavalry as well. Here they come, the Mo the Spartan cavalry. Well, the Thessalian, but the Spartan now. Phalanges at the front always, and they should just hold the enemy off and kill them. So strong in siege battles. Redonkulously strong in siege battles. We'll bring the archers down as well. Might as well. 
Right, let's speed everything up. We don't need to be going this slow, do we? Okay, they're bringing... What are you? Greek archers. Why? <laughs> For what reason would you bring the Greek archers? Wrong ones. Right, let's go. You don't need to be in phalanx, bro. Go. Uh, it's so hard to get them in a good formation. You guys there. Let's go. Get through, boys. Who are they firing at? Don't think they've really hit anyone yet. Archers, what are you doing? We'll probably get a couple of face shots in here, but... Oh, well. Right, phalanx. <laughs> the charging phalanx. Oh, good lord. Phalanx. Phalanx. Oh, that has destroyed them. Didn't even lose anyone on that charge. Formed it just in time. They are broken again. Broken men. Fighting for a rebel cause. Probably just going to do this with this, this side of the army, honestly. The rest of them are a bit slow. Let's go, boys. Oh, we shredded them. Nice. Nice to see. Okay, there's the... That's a general. It is, in fact, a general. Who's this? More Greek archers. You want to send more archers after me? I mean, stupid. Archers forward. I mean, honestly, we want you guys across like this. We'll send you after those archers. Oh, we've got this in the bag. We can send you up here. Try and tempt those archers in. Phalanx. Right, Cav. We don't, we don't need to mess around with these boys anymore. Let's get you over here. Let's keep marching forward. Come on, boys. Get in there. Coming this way? Uh, I guess you are. <laughs> Stupid. You're going to charge into this wall of spears, boys. Really? They already routed. Jesus. Just want you guys. If you could get there, that would be ideal. The officers are actually a little bit annoying. They kind of take up a bit of room. You guys get there. Greek cab. Let's go. What are you? Greek hoppertes? Here comes the general. Here he comes. Yeah. They are tough, so they will take a little bit to get down, but still. Right, get through, boys. Get through. Ah, you need to be in phalanx again, don't you? Oh, that has just destroyed everyone. Right, we'll march this phalanx forward. I don't want it to be on the uh, edge of the on the edge of the town square, though. Of course. Get you here, General Mausolos. Oh, that is not the uh, formation we wanted. I should die, surely. How are we doing over here? Losing a couple. Not many, though. Shredding those archers. Cavalry, get here, maybe, if you can. Ah, there we are. That's better. Get the general in here as well. Nice. And we'll use our archers... Kill him! Kill him! Sorry these battles take so long, guys. It's just, you want to be methodical. Let's go, 
All right, let's watch some of these boys charging. Just want one unit. Don't know how you're going to get there. Oh, they're going anyway. Nice. Where's that archer? Bring you up here. Who's going there? I don't remember putting anyone there. Killing them all. Fantastic. Phalanges, you've done an excellent job. Let's go. What is that formation, boys? Come on, you are men of Sparta. Get in a proper formation. That's, that's not good either. <laughs> Come on. What is this? This is not a line. It's a dog's back leg. Ah, uh, they come now. The final units. Cavalry, we'll just leave you in here. We don't need you anymore. You've done a fantastic job. Well done. Here they come into the phalanx. Yes. Excellent job, boys. Keep them at bay. Really good job, in fact. God, these guys are so strong. I wish we could actually recruit them properly. They're so good. So good. Okay, they're trying to get around the flanks now. They are being shaken. We're losing a few through these flanking battles. But predominantly, we are head on head against them. So, that's it. The officer's down there. Look at him. What a beast. Come on, General. Just get in there. Just hold the flanks a little bit. Okay. Down to 93 now. Oh, where is the other... Okay. General's going to win this for us. 93 at 106 on these boys. Oh, there's one more unit. Who are you? Oh, hello. Did not realize you were there. Get there. You phalanges. Need you around here as well. Archers, let's go. And you boys, we can use you. Mercenary hoplites, get out up here as well. Did not realize you still existed. Greek hoplites as well. Decent unit. We need to catch these guys. In the front and the back. That is not the formation I asked you to get in, boys. <laughs> Come on. I know you find it hard following commands, boys. Come on, your phalanx wasn't even formed then yet. Go, boys, go! Come on, General! Need you here. Go, charge! Nice. This is the sandwich and a half. Sandwich time, boys! Sandwich time! Nom, 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 nom. Fantastic. Get in there. Oh, phalangites. My new favorite unit. Come on, march forward. Fools. You won't march forward? Oh, well, end the battle anyway. <laughs> ah, that was a really good battle, in fact. Did a lot. 136 for those phalangites. Very nice. Well done, boys. Well done. I'm very happy with you there. Fantastic. Great victory. I will see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. Orkamenos is now ours. And I think... We will occupy this time. There's 15,000 people in here. So I think in the long run it's going to be better. Now it's time to get out of Dodge. <laughs> who are you? Captain Prophius. Uh, who do we leave behind though? We'll leave some Helots. 
Yeah, get out my way, fool. Ah, oh, we can't actually get everyone in properly, but... Oh, well. You archers are going to have to stand outside, my friends. Retrain these boys. There we are. And Orkomenos, what do we want to do here? What do you have, by the way? Oh, you've got an academy. Nice. We'll get rid of this strategy. Yeah. Large city as well. So this could be a good recruitment hub. Aphrodite for the population growth. Woohoo! Well, first things first. They need a bit of happiness. So let's get this. This is just good in general. And I think it's time for the Aetolians to stand back and acknowledge the Spartans as the true Greek warriors out here. Um, so there, yeah, let's retrain all these boys and let's get going. So yeah, cool. Let's uh, end the end the turn then. Merchant. Ah, oh, yeah, forgot about you. I don't care. Admiral Hector. Ephesus. Are you sure you don't want an alliance, bro? We see no benefit to us. Right. Let's have a look up here. Who's up here then? Should probably talk to the... We have talked to the Adresians before, but again would be good. Cool. So the Aetolians are pretty, pretty strong. Got a couple of full stacks, it looks like. But I'm sure we'll be able to do... Oh, oh I thought he was attacking something then. Looks like a spy spying on them. It's not my spy, is it? No, my spy's over there. Oh, hello, Aetolians. Ah, the Aetolians attacked us. Interesting. And Epirus at the same time, eh? Ooh, well then. That's interesting. Epirus and Aetolians combined attack. Ooh, military reforms of Cleomenes the third after the success of Alexander and his successors, to which the Greek city-states found no answer. The latter began to consider to retrain their hoplites to fight as Macedonian-style pikemen. The number of homoioi, it's homoioi, not homonoi, had fallen to a mere 700 by the middle of the 3rd century BC, a number so small that it made an effective Macedonian phalanx with its depth of 12 or 16 ranks almost impossible. To solve the lack of manpower, Cleomenes had 2,000 members of the lower strata of Spartan society, some of them former citizens, enfranchised, along with 2,000 or 2,500 perioikoi and mercenaries. They received the social status of Neodamodeis. Oh my god, what a name! Neodamodeis, new citizens. Plutarch, life of Cleomenes, most of them were equipped as Macedonian phalangites, though Ray speculates that some of the Spartiates and other Hoplites retain their traditional equipment. Oh, fantastic! We can now recruit better troops. Yes, yes, yes. Perioikoi Phalangites. So we no longer get the uh, Perioikoi Hoplitae. Still get the Cryptia, the Skiritae. Healer Archers. Let's have a look. What else can we get then on next level when we get to a large city? Ne we can get Neodomai Modeus Phalangites. Phalangites. 18, 19, 39. Ooh. Spicy. What are these? 15, 18, 37. So they're not that much different, honestly. They're pretty, pretty similar. Uh, and still just healer archers and Spartan cavalry. So we don't really have any uh, better cavalry. The Skiritai is still the Skiritai. Let's have a look to see whether we get any more uh, over here. Oh, we now get better cavalry. Oh, it's cavalry bodyguard. Spartan cavalry bodyguard. Interesting. So I wonder whether these bodyguards have changed. Yes. Now their bodyguards are cavalry. Oh, that is going to be great. <laughs> That is going to be fantastic. I'm sorry if I just burst your eardrums. I'm, I'm just very excited by this. <laughs> oh, yes. Fantastic. Epirus and Aetolians have declared war. Woohoo. So we are in a tricky spot. But not too tricky. Uh, so the Agora. We should go for the Agora so that we can get the next. We need to. Oh, worst thing is we need to retrain like everyone again now. Can't afford to though. 
because of the efforts. We still have an extra turn. But that changes things quite significantly. That changes things quite significantly. That's very good. Let's go for the Agora over here. Argos got the market. Let's go. Ooh, we could go for the large mines. I mean, I feel like we're okay on money right now. We need to kind of focus on military for a little bit. <laughs> well, I said that and then I put the yeah, put that in there. Oh, well. Rhodes is building that now. Fine. Chalkis, you can build whatever you want, bro. Corinth. Hmm. Uh, well, if we're going to get those barracks, we need this upgraded. So let's go with that first. So now we can recruit the Phalangites. Fantastic. So we retrain all these boys that are here. Then we go for the Epirates. What is this? Like army. It doesn't look the best. It looks pretty small. It looks pretty damaged. What can we train here? I mean, I think we just lose Orkomenos again. That's fine though. Like taking it back will be fine. We we really need to get our army sorted. Right. Let us end the turn again, boys. Oh yeah, we sent that over there. I think that's the Adrician. Oh no, it's not. We'll talk to the Galatians or whatever they're called. The Gauls in Turkey. True historical uh, guys. Guys? <laughs> True historical thing, guys. There were Celts and Gauls in Turkey um, around this time, which is pretty cool when you think about it. It even kind of backs up the, the Varangian sort of guard for the Byzantines, I guess you could say. I know uh, the Norse are not Celts and Gauls, but similar-ish culture. Uh, lots of people are going to be annoyed by me saying that, though. <laughs> Oligarch, this guy, fire Theos. Right. Another general. Right, where do we ha not have a general ruling? I think we go for Megalopolis. Get in there, my friend. Hello, Epirate. General, why? Why? <laughs> why are you just doing that? Right, Mausolos. Let's get you out. And into here. What an idiot. Oh my god. 78 bro. That is ridiculous. Well guys. I think that's going to be it for this episode. We're going to continue. We're going to fight that battle next episode. Because uh, we're about that time guys. So thank you for watching. Please do like. Please do subscribe. It really helps the channel out if you enjoy this content, there's plenty more content where it come, where it's coming from because I'm going to do a big recording session today, guys. So, I will see you again on the next video.